Okay, so I've got all the vegetables diced up and they're in a pot of water and I'm gonna go ahead and boil them. I am gonna throw some minced garlic in here real quick. I didn't show that. Okay, so the pasta's done and the vegetables are done boiling. So I'm just going to scoop them into this blender here and then we're gonna add in the seasonings and the nutritional yeast and the almond milk. Okay, so we've got the vegetables and about a cup of the vegetable water in the blender. Now I'm just gonna add the whole thing of almond milk. Okay, so we've just added two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of each seasoning. Okay, so all the seasonings are in there now and we're gonna go ahead, see if we can squish the lid on there because that's actually really full. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a blend. Okay, so it's done blending. And this is what we're looking like here. It smells amazing. So the final step is to pour the cheese sauce onto the noodles and give it a stir. I always put a little extra because it does thicken up once it cools and we are I know we're gonna have leftovers. So this is it. It looks great. Looks like mac and cheese. The kids are not gonna know I put all these vegetables in there. So it's a win-win for everyone. I do eat mine with a little red pepper, cayenne pepper on top, and Izzy likes hers with that also because he does not like spicy food. Yeah, you can also put breadcrumbs on it and bake it. You could like sprinkle some vegan cheese on top with the breadcrumbs so you can get like a little crispy layer on top. That'd be really good. But we're just gonna leave it like this today. Okay, try your mac and cheese. And on a scale of one to 10, tell me what you think. Be careful, it might be a little hot. Mmm, this is the 10. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Do you like it so it tastes really good? Mm -hmm. Izzy, are you gonna try yours? Your mac and cheese and say zero or 10? So I'm 10. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's hot, blow it. Uh. Good job. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you think? Uh -huh. Tastes really good. Uh -huh. Oh, it's good? I get a thumbs up? It's good mac and cheese? Good job. Can, can you put some red stuff on mine too? You want pepper on yours too? It's gonna be spicy. You, you always complain about spicy. You guys love mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mommy likes that. So outfit of the day, I've got my little sleeve ponytail. I've got my little gold necklace on. I've got this black um, little like skin tight t-shirt. I got this from pink. Um, I've got this little belt with these little pearls, little pearl de detail, super cute. I've got some high-waisted crop jeans and my little Ugg slippers and my jeans. So I always make extra sauce because it's really good. Like if you wanted to have nachos or just dip your chips in it. Um, the other day I made it, I put, <laughs> I put, I made some um, Chipotle black bean burger. So I just had kind of like crumbled that up and put it in with the cheese and mix it in and then used chips to like dip in and it was really good. So then I made Ryan try and he really liked it too. So I might have to make some more burgers to do that again. Um, but yeah, so now we've got mac and cheese and, or you could boil more noodles and make more macaroni and cheese if you want in a day or two. Um, you can even freeze the sauce and save it in the fri in the freezer two weeks later. So, I mean, it's tasty, it's healthy, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good substitute for mac and cheese if you want to have mac and cheese, but have a healthier option. And it's great because the kids don't know that it has all those vegetables in there. This is what's left of Mackenzie's and Izzy's lunch. So, it must have been pretty good because they didn't leave much left in there. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna do my taste test and see what we think of the mac and cheese we made. Really good. This is a great substitute if you wanna eat healthy, but you wanna eat mac and cheese. It's really good. You guys should try it. It's really creamy. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's definitely not like, you can tell it's not macaroni cheese, but it's definitely really good. A really good substitute. Okay, so earlier I made some bread dough. So you can see, I've got some dough. Don't mind those little black spots in it. It's just um, flaxseed. Usually I'd use ground flaxseed so that you don't have that and you wouldn't really see it. But using what we got, I have whole flaxseed. So I used whole flaxseed instead of eggs. And that works good too. And the kids don't mind it because <laughs> they think it's chocolate. They're like, oh, mommy, it's chocolate bread. I'm like, yep, go ahead and eat it, guys. Chocolate bread and they don't know the difference. So here are our burger buns. For what we are making to put in our buns over here, I'm just letting those rise a little bit more before I put them in the oven to bake. We're gonna be doing some barbecued pulled jackfruit. So it's pretty good. Um, we've had it before a few times. Ryan really likes it, so we're gonna do that today. We've got onion, two cans of jackfruit, Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue. This is the only barbecue we use, it's so good. Hi guys. And I've got some minced garlic. So we're just gonna take the jackfruit and kind of just like mash it and mince it up. It's easier to do it with your hands. Just make sure you clean your hands first. Okay, so we've got the jackfruit all crushed up. Looks like chicken. It really looks just like chicken. So we're just gonna Dice up this onion really quickly. Okay, so we're only gonna do half of the onion and then we're gonna do about three, like four cloves of minced garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan, then we're gonna throw the onions and garlic in, saute those up for a minute, and then we're gonna add in the jackfruit, a little pepper and black pepper, some black pepper, and then we're gonna add in the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. So about a teaspoon and a half of the olive oil. Okay, so onions and garlic are sauteing. We're about to add in the jackfruit. Okay, so we added the jackfruit, gave a little sprinkle of black pepper. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add a little of the Sauce, I would say about a half cup. Probably like a half cup there. Throw that in. I mean, you can put as much as you like. If you like it really saucy. If you don't like it so saucy, put a little less. Right. So this is what we're looking like. We're just gonna let this cook for a few minutes and then this is done. We're also going to make a little slaw to put on top of the jackfruit. So we're gonna um, thinly slice up some of this cabbage and we're gonna slice up some carrots and then add a little barbecue in that and probably some pepper, maybe some red pepper. Ryan likes it spicy. Um, he hates mayonnaise and I, I mean, I don't really like mayonnaise either. So we don't even buy mayonnaise, but we'll just substitute mayonnaise for a little bit of barbecue so we don't have a dry slaw. Okay, so we've got the cabbage sliced up, we've got the carrots sliced up, and we've got the barbecue in. That's probably like a third cup of barbecue. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little pepper. 
and then give it a stir. Okay, so our slaw is ready. Looks good, smells good. Okay, so Ryan's home, so y'all know we gotta do the taste test. So, we're serving him dinner now. Okay, Ryan, so give it, give your sandwich a try, give your dinner a try, and let us know what you think on a scale of one to 10. All right, let me hit this side real quick. Well, what do, you, what do you give the mac and cheese to on a scale of one to 10? You need to know the bite then. Give it a tongue. Okay, ten. okay. That's good. 10 for the vegan mac and cheese. Uh -huh. And then we've got the sandwich. With the, um... Bar barbecue pulled jackfruit. Mm-hmm and some slaw on a homemade bun. I like your buns, right? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. Good? Good. 10, nine, eight, seven? Give it a 10. 10, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you have it. Ryan is enjoying his dinner. He gave it a 10 for um, mac and cheese and for the sandwich, so. We'll be making that again. All right, so the kids are all in bed and it's a little before nine, so that's fantastic. Now it's time for mommy to chill. You know, relax a little bit, wind down, spend some time with my honey. You know, have a little drink or a big drink. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed your day. I hope you enjoyed cooking with us. Be sure to like and subscribe and you know leave us a comment share the video we appreciate it y'all have a good night